What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, a channel dedicated to helping men dress better and feel their best. And in this video, we're taking a look at an iconic brand known for their rugged and workwear inspired aesthetic, Thoroughgood Boots. With over 125 styles of footwear and 125 years in business, the Thoroughgood Shoe Company has literally done and seen it all. This in-depth Thoroughgood Boots review features the Hiking Camp 6-inch Mock Toe Boot. I'm going to cover the boots style and design, the quality and craftsmanship, comfort and durability, shoe sizing and price, some of the pros and cons, and most importantly, how they've held up over four seasons of wear. And finally, I'm going to wrap things up by answering some of the most commonly asked questions. If you want to know more about the history of Thoroughgood, and a complete list of commonly asked questions about the brand, head on over to my blog. I'm gonna link that up there and down in the description for you. All right, so let's get into it. So the Thoroughgood 6-inch Mock Toe Boot is a construction boot that's stylish enough for everyday wear. But before we talk style and design, let's answer what is a Mock Toe. A Mock Toe can come in a shoe or boot design, but what distinguishes one is the seam running across the top of the shoe around the toe box. The Mock in Mock Toe is an abbreviation for Moccasin, which if you've noticed has that unmistakable detail along the top of the shoes. The design of the Thoroughgood Mock Toes, they are definitely a rugged boot similar to Wolverine or Red Wing. They feature three standard eyelets followed by three speed hooks and finish off with a single grommet. The speed hooks aid in easy lacing and makes heel lock lacing a breeze. This is my personal favorite way to lace up boots or shoes when hiking because it locks the heel in place preventing heel slippage. Additionally, the boots have a flat sole as opposed to a separated heel, which makes it easy to maneuver around a construction site and comfortable for working on concrete all day. They're six inches in height. There's a prominent white contrast stitching across the boots upper and the Thoroughgood logo is prominently stamped across the heel of the left and right boot. I personally like the way the logo appears brandished on the leather. Another ubiquitous detail is the Made in USA tag that's stitched along the side of the boots a vamp. Some would say it's an unnecessary embellishment but I don't really mind it. If it's an eyesore for you though you can easily remove it but I personally think it adds to the boots charm. And so for the boots style I'd say that these boots look great with all kinds of different looks. Pair them with a denim or canvas jacket and salvage jeans with a crisp cuff or corduroy pants. Alternatively you can rock them with distressed jeans, a hoodie, and a bomber jacket for that rugged sporty look. These thoroughgood mock toes can even play nicely with refined pieces like a top coat in my opinion which makes it even more versatile than you think. And even though these are considered work boots built for construction workers, I wear these Thoroughgood mock toes for the look and aesthetic of it, but it's good to know that the functionality is there too. Now on to the quality and craftsmanship of these boots. The Thoroughgood 6 inch mock toe is proudly made in the USA. This pair features tobacco oil tanned full grain leather that's supposed to allow for your feet to breathe. Inspecting the boots, there are no loose threads, just some extra stitching and fabric here and there, but that's no cause for concern. There's a beige leather trim that's precisely stitched along the boot ankle and contrast against the brown leather. Additionally, these mock toes are constructed with a Goodyear Storm Welt, which is pretty much a Goodyear welt that makes for a sturdier and more waterproof boot. The added detail is apparent as a Storm Welt is both decorative and functional. Furthermore, these Thoroughgood boots are laced with Taslan laces. These are just overall strong and heavy duty, long lasting laces. You can just feel that they're made to last when you lace up your Thoroughgood boots for the first time. And then on the inside of the boot, you're gonna find a removable pour on comfort cushion insole for added comfortability. It also helps to give you a better fit if the boots are slightly large on your feet. And finally, all Thoroughgood mock toes come with a chunky Maxwear wedged sole that adds nearly one and a half inches in height, which is a bonus for shorter guys. I always feel so much taller when I rock these boots. I'm gonna throw some complete specs on the screen so you can read over these. The color is tobacco. It's got that shock absorption footbed, a pour on comfort cushion. There's a fiberglass shank. There is no waterproofing. I'm not gonna read them all, but you can take a screenshot if you want them at your disposal. Now let's move on to comfort and durability. Now, these Thoroughgood 6-inch mock toes are probably gonna be some of the most comfortable boots that you're gonna own. And this is due to the pour on comfort cushioned insole that you can easily remove, but why would you? Four years in, they are wearing strong and showing no signs of deterioration. On the outside, there's that Maxwear wedge outsole that's extremely durable and it's made with slip and oil resistance in mind. And so these boots are truly made for workwear professionals. The wedge gets dirty fairly quickly, but it can be easily cleaned up. And though the boots aren't waterproof, that doesn't mean that they aren't snow friendly. I wear my Thoroughgoods in snow every winter season. As long as there aren't slush puddles everywhere, you'll be all right. And you can always apply mink oil or waterproofing spray if you want to be safe. As for the leather, 
it's gonna develop a patina over time that looks even better now than when I bought it. And the more you beat it up, the more character it's going to develop. As for the Thorogood break-in period, it's gonna take a few dozen wears. You know, the leather isn't incredibly rough, but if I remember correctly, it did take some time for the leather to soften up. But now it wears like a well-fitting glove, especially along the ankle. And don't be afraid to beat these boots up as they are built to withstand pretty much anything you throw at it as it's meant to be worn on a construction site. The stitching is tight and secure. There are no signs of sole splits and the soles have very little visible signs of wear. All right, so you probably wanna know how well have these boots held up over four years? or four seasons of wear. The boots are now four years in and they're still going strong. It is worth noting that I only wear my thorough goods in the late fall seasons through winter. And I always rotate my shoes and my boots and so I never wear them on consecutive days. This is something I do with all of my shoes no matter how well made they are. This is something that I found helps extend the life of all of the shoes and boots in my collection. I also don't drag my feet when I walk and so the sole wedge has very little wear. Even if I did drag my feet, I just feel like this wedge is so durable that I think it would still be in great shape. The tobacco full grain leather has developed a really nice patina and it's got this worn in look. There are marks across the boot showing signs of age and wear that adds to the character in my opinion. As for conditioning, I've conditioned these boots only once or maybe twice with some kiwi shoe polish. And when the soles get dirty, which they really do get dirty quickly, it's really easy to clean. You just get a wet cloth or a Lysol wipe and then just wipe them down cleans it right up. All in all, my Thorogood mock toes are holding up extremely well after four seasons and I see them lasting well into the next four years. Now let's get into shoe sizing and price. So my running shoe size is size eight and so I size down a half a size for these boots into a 7.5. And this is the size I normally wear for my boots. They're a little bit tight though not painfully, especially when I wear thicker socks, which I normally do with rugged boots like these. I would either recommend for you to get your exact running shoe size or size down a half size depending if you wear thick socks or not. And of course over time the boots are going to stretch a little bit as well as they break in and so you have to take that into account too. If your feet are slightly wider than normal I would opt for the EE version of the boot because these boots run rather narrow. Now for the price these boots come in at under $200 easy. Right now they're probably like $184 on Amazon which is a pretty good deal for a boot like this. Sometimes you'll find it as low as $150 which is a steal in my opinion. All right so now let's get into some of the pros and cons of the boots. For the pros, there's an affordable price point that's well under $200. It's an iconic boot style and overall solid construction. It's from a brand with long-standing heritage and American tradition. It's extremely comfortable and has a removable insole. It's built to last as evidenced through four years of wear. And there's that no slip max square wedge outsole, which is long lasting and it provides excellent traction in all kinds of wet and rainy conditions. As for some of the cons, there's a fairly lengthy break-in period if I recall and the boots are pretty heavy at 3.71 pounds, almost four pounds, but they are work boots after all. All right, I'm gonna just do a quick speed round of answering some commonly asked questions about these boots. Now, do the soles squeak on tile or marble floors? No, they do not. Do they make noise like dress shoes when you walk? Nope. Are the boots waterproof? No, they are not. However, you can apply mink oil or waterproofing spray to make them waterproof and you'll be all right in the snow as they are pretty water resistant. Do these boots have a steel or safety toe? No, they do not. However, it is a hard toe and they also sell a version with the steel toe. Are the boots insulated? Nope. And are these boots safe to work around electricity? And yes, they are. They are EH rated. For some more answers to commonly asked questions, you can head over to the blog. Again, link down below. To the bottom line, these boots are rugged all right, but they're not all that clunky. In fact, they have a relatively slim profile for a work boot. Furthermore, thorough good boots have a long-standing American heritage and they are American made. The six inch mock toe is iconic in its style and design, but started out as the official boots of the Boy Scouts became ubiquitous among construction workers on jobs sites all around the world. And so if you're looking for your first pair of mock toes, I'd say it's really hard to go wrong with the Thorogood six incher. As for color, I say go ahead and pick one that best resonates with your current aesthetic, whether it's this tobacco or a black colorway or the dark brown. They also have a version with a black sole as well looks pretty nice but it's my opinion that you can't go wrong with boots like these. For entry level boots under $200, they're pretty nice. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.